is ready for you to come because they know they're having guests. You know, yeah. when Yahweh Shah came, he served us, man, and yet he's still serving us, man. God. God. Hey, he, he probably up there like, yeah, you know, I like the, you know, this brother like this. Come you know what I'm saying? Like, get that ready for him. Yeah, yeah this brother like that. Get that right. ready for him. You know? And, 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 and it's going to be beautiful, man. That's right. You know, but you can keep going. Keep it, keep continuing on in verse 3. It says, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you into myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Dang. And that goes into the lesson. So shall we be with the Lord forever, man. That's right. You know, we, the, 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 the elect is going to be with the Lord forever, man. A, a everlasting dominion, man. Okay, that's never going to end. That's right. You know, all of this, 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 this temporary hell that you're facing, man, that ain't going to be nothing compared to the kingdom, man, because we're fighting for a reason. Yeah. You know? We fight. We fighting for for the real reason, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Sha. And on a, you know? uh, on another note, we fighting for the Lord to continue putting it on us, because say what the scriptures say. Um, he chastised whom he loveth, and if he wasn't chastised, you 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 you're like a bastard, man. So this hell that you're getting is a form of of, of the Lord saying, hey, hey, I'm 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 with you, man. Because if I didn't love you, I would let you go back into the world and just be a nigga and get get things. The way you used to get it done as a nigga, you know, not in a righteous way. Con, con. Um, can you get that Psalm seventy three and uh, twenty four? Con. Uh, here we is Psalms seventy three and here go verse twenty four. Say, um, Thou shalt guide me with thy. No, hold on, hey, 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 uh, can you jump up to the twenty first verse? Con, this is verse twenty one. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I, and I and ignorant, I was as a beast before thee. Yeah, and that's before <laughs> we came into this truth, man. We was fucking niggas, man. Right. You know? Everybody was doing some old crazy stuff, man. You know? You probably, probably shaved off all your beard. Yeah. Okay? You had hella demons on you. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? And, and, and the Lord was looking at it like, look at this this crazy nigga, man. Look at this you know, but <laughs> look at this demon. <laughs> but he still bring you into this truth. Right. You know, you supposed to have that that you know feeling feeling sorrow. You know, Duh. feeling of sorrow because we we didn't you know even though you know the Lord winked at our our uh, you know ignorance. Yeah. You know our wickedness that we was doing. You know we still we still got that. Lingering over us because we are still worthy of death, huh. you know. We that's why we got to continue to pray for the Lord's mercy, you know. Which the word mercy in the Hebrew is kasad, huh. you know. But keep going, nevertheless, I am continually with thee, thou hast holding me by my right hand, yeah. And that's what you're supposed to, you know, like, like the the like a father, you know, walking his son, keeping him upright, right. you know. Cause his son don't can't can't walk, mm -hmm. you know. That that's all you how we supposed to be with Yahweh Shah, man. You know that it holding on to Yahweh Shah, man. You know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Hey, can you keep going on that? God. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and yeah, and that's what you was talking about that that chastisement. Yeah, you know, cause cause the Lord is a is a stern teacher, you know, a, a austere man. You know, so 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 his counsel. Hey, you better do this, man, or or, or you you gonna get destroyed, man. You no, know? and that's that's one of the things that we supposed to be in is true. The mindset that we supposed to be in, man. Like I don't want to walk on that that path of destruction. Yeah. You know, I wanna I wanna <laughs> I wanna walk the straight gate for real. Not like uh, this guy uh uh this guy GMS straight gate. You know. Huh. It's not coming in order like like a lot of other guys ain't coming in order. Right. But a man of the Lord, you want to be in order, man. Huh. You know, you should want to be in order for the, for your help by some y'all shot. That's right. You know, but keep going. That's all you shot. That's all you that you that you being spiritual. Huh. You know, and not not carnal. It says, and afterward, receive me to glory, 
whom I had oh, I'm sorry, whom have I in heaven but thee, and there is none upon the earth that I desire beside thee. Yeah, it said you shouldn't be desiring none of this stuff on this earth, man, because it's all temporary. Let me get this word. You know? Let me look up this word desire real quick. Go on. Um, and it's kafats, and it means to take pleasure or delight in, be pleased to do. So you shouldn't be pleased to, uh, to be desiring these wicked ass women out here, or desiring the riches that 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 come with this world. Or these little petty uh, brief moments of clarity of so-called vacations they give us at these jobs. Like, you work yourself to the bone, pretty much, to get seven days out of a 365 calendar year to go so-called enjoy yourself. And you got people to say, this is what you work hard to do. No, we here working hard as slaves, man, because the Lord is punishing us to, to being subject to these people. To where as though they get, you know, these so-called execs. These higher ups, you know, and these these the corporate world, they getting six to seven months off. I mean, six to seven weeks or more of vacation time a year. If not, they working from home. So Jake's so fucking pampered with these gifts. Excuse my French, but they get these little gifts from Esau and these little perks, and, and they desire that man. That people desire for Friday to come, the weekend to come, or for whatever day off you get from work, man. A, a, a two day rest. You're not even getting two days off, man. You 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 spending one day, you know, getting yourself together, and then the next day you preparing yourself to go back to hell, man. God. If you get that Philippians one and twenty, on to twenty four, and we can end it with that one. God, this is Philippians, chapter one and verse twenty. Acor uh, it says, according to my earnest expectation, and my hope. That in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness. If I could, if I could get this, uh -huh. the word for um, anxious. Uh, I mean, not anxious, but um, earnest. Earnest expectation. Okay, if you got that, like, look it up. Yeah, Con, I'm on it now. This is earnest expectation, and it's opakridokai. Uh, if I'm saying it right. But it means anxious and persistent expectation. Right. Now go down to where it says G1380. G1380. Strong's definition. Con. Uh, it's G603. I will see G1380. No, right after anxious and persistent oh, here we go. expectation. Here we, go. here we go. I got it. I got it. G1380. In the sense of watching. And yeah, and that's what we doing. We watching, man. Every day, man. You're supposed to be looking like, man, y'all is going to crack them clouds, man. You know? Uh, looking at the the, the um the things that's going on in the news. You know? Yeah, man. The, that chip ought to be made mandatory any day now. Huh. You know? Or, or another killing, you know, from, from a police member. You know, the race war is about to come. You know, we're supposed to always be anxious, man, and, and persistent, you uh, know, and not thinking that the Lord is the land is coming. But keep going on that definition. Uh, intense anticipation. This is, man, you're supposed to eat, sleep, <laughs> you know, all this stuff, man, you know, intensely, man. Hey, you know okay? how it was, I'm, you, I, I didn't mean to cut you off, but real quick, you know how it was when you was a kid, when you was worshiping that wicked ass Christmas, how you would stay up half the night, earnestly waiting to see what you got? That's how we should be with this truth, man. Earnestly waiting to see destruction come to this place, giving you more uh, 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 clarification, more uh, more of a knowing that, hey, we almost out of here. You know, it's almost time, man. I got this, the word, the definition for in, uh, intense, uh. right? And it says, having or sowing strong feelings or opinions, extremely earnest or serious, extremely serious, uh, synonyms, right? Passionate, ardent, fervent, zealous, vehement, very emotional. You both get emotional about this truth. Right. Earnest, eager, animated. Get animated, man. It says spirited. <laughs> right. In the in the, the the right spirit, of course. Come Vigorous, on. energetic, committed. Being committed onto this truth, man. 
Uh-huh. If you really want to be with the Lord, you got to be committed, man. Okay? But keep going on that. On that, uh, uh, Philippians, Philippians 1 and 20. Con, it says uh, that in nothing I shall be ashamed. But it is supposed to be ashamed, and it's true. You right. know, what is there to be ashamed about? This is the truth, you know? See, right. now, you have some people out here that are, that are not being wise with doing certain things. You know, like, yeah, see, um, certain people out uh, just speaking about whatever, you know? And it's like, you got to watch how you build it, yeah. you know? See, see and, and one of the reasons why I say that, you know, is because a lot of people think that the scriptures is, 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 is it's, a, it's all about the law to be more spiritual, you know? And it's not about, it's not about the law because a lot of people, you know, they, they, they come into this truth and think that, oh, if I, if I walk outside with, with fringes on all the time, right. you know, that's going to make me more, more a man of the Lord, you know? Right. And it's, no, that's, that don't mean nothing, man. Just cause you put some, some, uh, fringes on a garment, man. You know, that ain't going to make you more spiritual, you know? Right. That's carnal. But you ain't supposed to be, you're not supposed to be a saint to wearing the, the, the fringes, you know? That's, that's, that's a part of our heritage, you know? But them, them fringes ain't going to make you more, more spiritual, you know? But go ahead. Con, I'm real quick. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 10. For thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, and patience. Now, I'm keying in on manner of life. Okay, you got to have a specific manner of life when you out here. Like he said, you know, the fringes don't make you righteous. It's your manner of life, how you carry yourself in your everyday, day-to-day, even when you're not in the eye of the public. You know, you got to constantly be carrying yourself as a man of the Lord. You know? Con. Uh, why, is this, why is this serpent as harmless as doves? Con. You know? But, but keep going. Um, going back to uh, Philippians, it says, um, but with all boldness, as always, so now also Hamashiach shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. Yeah, um, so, you know, you, you, of course, you know, if you if you go out, you know, and the, and the truth is a, is a good thing, if you're in the truth, you know, huh. but, but. Hey, even if you're in Israel, you're going to be, you know, um, uh, with your Shah, you know, and, 